Good morning. I am Dr. Raghav Kumar, an intern currently working in Guru Tegh Bahadur Hospital and the University College of Medical Sciences, New Delhi. During our various field trips across the rural and suburban areas of Delhi, I frequently came across TB patients, a significant number of whom had developed drug resistance and secondary infection due to incomplete treatment. Another common factor was that most of these patients belonged to a lower socio-economic sector. This piqued my curiosity into the causes of poor patient adherence and subsequent recurrent infections in tuberculosis. TB remains one of the world's deadliest disease. Although nearly all cases can be cured, TB remains one of the world's biggest threats. Every minute, one person dies of tuberculosis in India. With an estimated 27 lakh new cases, India takes the crown in terms of the total TB global burden, contributing to an astounding 26% of all TB cases in the world. And with an increase of 12% in the incidence rate as compared to the previous year, this is a trend unlikely to die down. Due to the fact that India accounts for approximately one-fifth of all the TB cases in the world, an effective TB control program in India is essential to and will have global implications in the international TB control effort. And thus, I would like to present my approach to tackling this modern day epidemic. As mentioned previously, retreatment cases constitute about 24% of all TB cases in the RNTCP. These include relapse, failure, and treatment after default. Given the high uh, human and drug cost of treatment of each patient, especially in the retreatment group, more information and subsequent reduction of patients in this group is critical to the success of TB control activities. And as the patients in the RNTCB are not followed up after treatment for any length of time, there is very low information about relapse. There seems to be almost no trend from year to year that the proportion of retreatment cases have become reduced now that the dot has been consolidated. Management of TB still largely depends upon DOT. The uh, DOT or directly observed treatment has been viewed as an efficient strategy for adherence to treatment. While evidence has demonstrated that it poses an economic and social burden to patients with TB. There is, uh, treatment of TB requires at least six months, where patients in the intensive phase, are, uh, intensive, where patients in the intensive phase of DOT need to collect their medication at a healthcare facility daily and swallow tablets under direct observation of healthcare workers throughout the intensive phase. Despite TB care and treatment services being delivered free of charge, patients with TB face out-of-pocket payments and income losses due to transportation, accommodation and food to get treatment at a healthcare facility. These can be a major obstacle to adherence and has forced patients to stop working sell property and even borrow money, thereby reducing their overall income. These in turn have increased the rates of loss to follow up, disease relapse and drug resistance. Patients who travel daily to healthcare facilities for medications have also increased in the transmission process of the transmission potential of the disease, especially in the capital city, New Delhi, a highly congested city with overcrowding housing and public transportation. Several studies have reported that patients with TB consider their daily DOT visits as worthless and providers see DOT as a very challenging strategy for patients with TB. As a result, daily DOT survives in principle, while implementation is irregular in both patients with TB and providers have uncertainties concerning the program. Providers report that patients with TB prefer taking their tablets at home once they have received the necessary advice and counselling. Patients complain that they travel for daily DOT under harsh conditions for up to 2 hours and 2.5 kilometers, taking several rests on their way because of their sickness. They spend substantial amounts of money on transportation and some lose their job due to work-related absences. Providers also report that patients appear exhausted and uh, dissatisfied during DOT visits. Some patients claim that once they are initially informed about the disease, no one talks to them on the subsequent DOT days. They just swallow the drug and return home. 
Additionally, patients face stigma on their route to daily dot and change their name in the TB clinic to disguise their identity. And with that, I present to you my solution, TB Go, a durable, affordable and easy to use medication event reminder monitoring system aimed at improving adherence to treatment and efficient monitoring of the patient cohort. It's suitable for use in blister packaged TB medication by TB patients. It can hold one month of TB medication and is highly portable. TBGO box uses a magnetic sensor which is a switch that is triggered upon opening the drug container box. It has programmable alert mechanisms consisting of three LED lights, green for dose alert, yellow for refill and red for low battery. An audible tone to indicate that a dose is due. At the same time, uh, the box produces a alarm to indicate the data center that the MR, MERM was functioning for that day. Data transfer is straightforward and is done by a USB. The patient is allotted a Medshell e-pill e box on microbiological confirmation of TB. The pill box will be linked to the patient's NIC share number which is already existing under the NTB strategy and will have a barcode on it. The patient will be counseled about the pill box and will be supplied by one month's worth of FDC anti-tuberculosis medication. Every day, the patient follows the regimen and opens the box. A message will be sent to secure servers, which can be reviewed on command. A blinking red light will work as a visual alarm for the patient to consume medication, which will turn a constant blue as soon as the box is open for the day. Failure to consume medication for one day will cause a phone call from a TBGO call center. Failure to consume for seven days will cause the nearby medical health worker slash allied health worker to check up on the patient. On completion of one month's dose, the patient will present the pill box to the nearest DOT center where a scanner will scan the NICSHA code and restock with another month's worth of anti-tubercular medication. And with that, I conclude my presentation. I hope my device would be a part of the NTB strategy and help in eradicating a major health obstacle. Thank you.